In this problem, we're going to prove that x cubed minus x plus 1 equals 0 has a real solution. And we're going to use calculus to prove this. And even if you don't know much calculus, hopefully um, you understand uh, this proof. Let's go through it very carefully. So proof. So in order to prove that this has a real solution, we're going to use something called uh, the intermediate value theorem. So first, we'll start by defining a function. So we're going to set f of x equal to x cubed minus x plus 1. And now over here, I'm going to uh, briefly recall uh, the intermediate value theorems. This is not part of the proof, just uh, something that is important to, to know. So the intermediate IVT value theorem from calculus says that if your function is continuous on a b so on on some closed interval and also uh, if let's just say uh, p is any number uh, between uh, f of a and f of b then uh, there exists Uh, a number c is the pound sign for number and the open interval such that st means such that uh, f of c equals p and basically it just basically says that uh, your function takes on all intermediate values uh, between f of a and f of b so if this is f of a and this is f of b it takes on every value uh, between those two Anyways, in this problem, we have to prove that this has a real solution. In other words, we somehow have to uh, show that there is a number such that f of c uh, is equal to uh, 0. So we need to pick um, some values that we can plug into f that will make it uh, change sign. So for example, uh, f of, let's just say, negative 2 will be negative 2 cubed minus negative 2 plus 1. So that's negative 8 plus 2 plus 1. So that's negative 5. Okay, it's negative 5. Uh, and uh, f of, let's just say, 2 is equal to, um, let's see, uh, 2 cubed minus 2 plus, plus 1. Okay, plus 1. And that's equal to 8 uh, minus 1, which is equal to um, 7. So notice uh, that 0 is between these numbers. So 0 is between negative 5 and 7. So since our function, so since f is continuous, and it's continuous everywhere. It's a polynomial, but let's just let's really just satisfy the intermediate value theorem. So a and b here will be um, these values here. This will be your a, and this will be your b. So on a b, okay, and then p. This is our p. Our p is the zero. So p is zero. So p is a number between these two, f of a and f of b, right? Between negative five and seven. So and 0 is between you know, f of negative 2 and f of 2. So notice we've completely satisfied the hypothesis now. If you just look up here, it says f is continuous. We've, we've done that right there. And p, 0, is any number between these. So we've done that there. So just really, just being really careful in our wording. Then by IVT, so let's invoke it now. So then by the intermediate value theorem, boom, there exists a number, I'll use the pound sign again, C in AB, so between negative 2 and 2, such that F of C is equal to 0, right, because p is equal to 0. 
So f of x was x cubed minus x plus 1. That was f of x. Let me just write it down here for you. So f of x was x cubed minus x plus 1. So what we have here is that uh, f of c is equal to 0. So, so thus, what does that mean? Well, f of c means you just plug in c, right? So it'll be c cubed minus c plus 1 equals 0. Oh, look at that. There is a number c that makes this equation true. And the number c is between negative 2 and 2. That means it's a real number. <laughs> thus, x cubed minus x plus 1 equals 0 has a real solution. So this is typically how you use um, the intermediate value theorem to prove that equations have real solutions. Um, and again, when you're first doing these on your own, just do what I did and just write down IVT somewhere in your paper on the side. If you're turning this in for like a class or something, make sure it's you no know, you you recognize indicate this is not part of your proof, right? This is just something you're using to help you. The proof. The proof is here, right? Very carefully done, right? We define the function. We we plug in two values. I just made these up. I figured negative two will make it negative and two will make it positive. I was right. Uh, zero is between those. That's what we want because we're trying to show it's equal to zero. Right? We're trying to show f of c equals zero. So you always want to make them change sign. And then you just say it's continuous and use these numbers, right? That's your a, that's your b. And don't forget to reiterate where zero is between, you know, these numbers. Then say, you know, okay, by the intermediate value theorem, we've shown there exists a number C uh, such that f of C is zero. And then just plug it into your function, and that gives you uh, what you want. Um, it's worth emphasizing um, that it's important to be, you know, really, really, um, you know, solid in these problems. You want to explain everything uh, as best as you can. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.